This programme contains strong language and sexual references throughout. All right, so we think we know people. We make snap judgments every day, but how often are we actually right about them? Yeah. I know you've just met, but for your first challenge, each one of you is gonna go up to the game board. You will be taking a tile with a photo of each of your housemates and placing it into one of three different categories. What the fuck? I hardly know anyone just yet. Gotta help me. Who qualifies to go on the dates? will be determined by your performance in the challenge and what's inside of this sealed envelope. <laughs> Roz, you're gonna hold on to this one. <laughs> Don't open it just yet. Okay. <laughs> the importance of the dates are to confirm that someone is a perfect match. The truth booth is the most important aspect of the game because that is the only time we can figure out if someone is or is not a perfect match. Easy. This challenge is going to see how good you are at perception versus reality. You ready? Yes! All right, let's do this. Jordan, you're up first. Yeah! Head on down to the challenge area. My name's Jordan, more like Jordan. <laughs> I'm a CEO. I own my own swimwear company. I always tend to go for beauty over brains, and I don't even look past that for the red flags. And that's definitely why I'm single. OK, OK. Hmm. This is our first challenge in the house. The stakes are pretty high. Infidelity. Damn, I like didn't ask anybody about that. It gives me cheater vibes really beating myself up. I should have talked to people more. I'm going to be so mad if I'm not the person that's going on the dates, and I'll have no one to blame but myself. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is savage. It's what, day one, so it's hard to know if someone's cheating or not. I've only just met these guys, and uh, I basically have to judge the fuck out of them. <laughs> so yeah, good start. I'm just surprised that there's so many infidelity ones. It's not a good sign. <laughs> Very busy guy. I'm gonna put Corel. So I know Taylor and Courtney. They ended because of infidelity. <laughs> um, we've had that conversation. I think I have my eyes on Courtney. I knew she was priority number one because everything that you know she was doing, everything that she was saying was just ticking a box. I've been focusing on becoming a doctor since I was about 12 years old. I've never met someone intellectually on my level. Everybody who had beautiful eyes, immediately infidelity. All issues, all trouble. Eduardo, his eyes are like, Ugh! Trouble. These eyes, trouble. Akil. He seems like the type that he would cheat. Sorry, Akil. I feel like I'm being so unfair because I'm picking all the guys and I feel like they all look like fuckboys or most of them, so. Leo, you have the face of a cheater. I am putting Leo onto the infidelity side because I just imagine him just like hanging out in the house, you know, 420. God, I have no idea what these women do. Courtney. I'm really ready to settle down and really start thinking about my future. Okay, Courtney. For sure. We talked about that. I really just want love. I don't want there to be a next guy. I want this to be the one, the final guy. Anissa, you quiet one. So infidelity, for sure. That's just, that's just how the quiet ones go. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Dating struggles for me is really just me knowing exactly what I want. You gotta show that you're passionate about something. What are your goals? What are your ambitions? Like, how's your family? How's your relationship with your father? Like, I need to know, I need to know these things. I'm trying to go over what everyone does for a career, but we didn't talk about breakup so much. You gave us only a couple hours together. Like, let me play this game tomorrow and I won't suck. <laughs> All right, new besties, you had your very first challenge. Let's see how you did. 
A lot of people thought that Brendan's career broke up his last relationship, because you're a DJ and out every night, I'm sure. Brendan? Yeah, that, that's definitely what led to us, um, yeah, breaking down. Did you give her any reason to feel insecure when you were out? <laughs> I'm not perfect either. Never cheated, but not perfect. Things don't always look good, but it was you were keeping it tight. Yes. So there was a both category for both career and infidelity. Nobody got the correct answer. Correct answer was actually Danielle. Danielle, can you can you speak to that? I was cheated on twice by the same person. And a few years later, I started dancing for the NBA. And then you're around all these beautiful, tall men all the time. And, you know, when you're in that industry, people just think that you're getting that attention. Yeah. But I didn't cheat, ever. Well, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Let's find out who's going on this date. Ooh. Ready? Roz. Do I get to open it up? It's your time to shine, boo. Oh, yeah. 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 OK. The highest scoring woman and man get to choose their date. Wow. Ooh. So the woman with the best score is 